Welcome to our No IFRS Educational Fund Series. It is an initiative of OJ Inflation Limited. It is dedicated to providing complementary and supplementary education on international financial reporting standards, IFRS, through a multiple choice question and answer approach. It is intended to make learning or intellectual assurance fun. In this session, we shall be considering 10 questions of such one to which the answers have been provided on IAS 20. This is a standard on accounting for government grants and disclosure of government assistance. Viewers or subscribers have 30 seconds to select or choose the answer to each question. The answers to the 10 questions are revealed at the end of all the questions. Please enjoy it. Question number one. IAS 20 does not deal with which of the following? A, accelerated capital allowances. B, investment tax credits. C, income tax holidays. D, provision of infrastructure in development areas. E, all of the options, time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. Question number two. Under IAS 20, government grants whose primary condition is that an entity qualifying for them to purchase, construct, or otherwise acquire long term assets are specifically called DASH. A. Grants related to assets. B. Grants related to investment. C. Grants related to investing activities. D. Grants related to income. E. Grants related to infrastructure, time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. Question number three. Which of the following prayers are the types of grants in IS 20? A. Grants related to assets and grants related to infrastructure. B. Grants related to income and grants related to assets. C. Grants related to assets and grants related to investment. D. Grants related to income and grants related to infrastructure. E. Grants related to investing activities and grants related to income, time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. Question number four. One of the following is the odd one out in line with IS 20. A, government grants. B, subsidies. C, subventions. D, premiums. E, none of the options. Time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. Question number five. Which of the following holds? A. Grants are recognized as soon as their pronouncements are made. B. Grants are recognized irrespective of whether they will be received. C. Receipt of grants is enough evidence that our conditions will be met. D. That conditions of grants will be met and that the grants will be received are fundamental. E. That grants will make an entity profitable is the grant for recognition. Time counts. Ten 
10 seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. Question number six. A government grant that becomes receivable as compensation for expenses already incurred is dash. A, recognized into the opening balance of return earnings of a period. B, deducted from payables related to expense of the grant item. C, recognized in profit or loss of the period in which the grant becomes receivable. D, recognized in other compressible income of the period in which the grant becomes receivable. E, treated as retrospective restatement on the concerned line items. Now count. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. Question number seven. When or are the conditions for the recognition of government grants are met? An entity recognizes government grants generally in dash A, profit or loss for the whole amount of the grants at once. B, profit or loss on a systematic basis over a relevant period. C, auto compressive income for the whole amount of the grants at once. D, auto compressive income on a systematic basis over a relevant period. E, retained earnings have been reflected in the statement of changes in equity. That counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. Question number eight. On presentation of grants related to assets, which of the following is incorrect? A, there are two methods of presentation of grants related to assets. B, grants can be treated as deferred income. C, deferred income from grants can be recognized in profit or loss on a systematic basis. D, grants can be deducted in ascertaining the current amount of the relevant assets. E, none of the options is incorrect. Time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. Question number nine. On presentation of grants related to income, which of the following is incorrect? A. They can be presented in profit or loss as separate lines of income. B, they can be presented in profit or loss under the general heading of other income. C, they can be deducted in reporting the related expenses. D, they can be capitalized as assets since there are benefits received. E, there are two methods of presenting grants related to income. Time counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time up. Question number ten. Which of the following does not hold on repayment of government grant? A. It is treated as a change in accounting estimate. B, it may be first applied against any unamortized deferred credit. C, it will be expensed in addition to any unamortized deferred credit. D, it will be recognized in profit or loss where no deferred credit exists. Question number 11. 
E, it is used in increasing the current amount of relevant assets. Some counts. Ten seconds gone. Twenty seconds gone. Time off. We proceed to reveal the answers. Question number one. The answer to question number one is E, all of the options. IS-20 does not deal with benefits that are available in determining taxable profit or loss. It does not also cover benefits provided indirectly through action affecting general operating conditions like the provision of infrastructure in development areas. IS-20 deals with government transfer of resources to an entity or government's action designed to provide economic benefits specific to an entity or range of entities when certain conditions are met. E is the answer to question number one. Question number two. The answer to question number two is A, grants related to assets. The wording of the statement in the question is the description or meaning of grants related to assets under IAS 20. A is the answer to question number two. Question number three. The answer to question number three is B, grants related to income and grants related to assets. The two categories of grants specified in IS-20 are grants related to assets and grants related to income. Government grants are either of these. B is the answer to question number three. Question number four. The answer to question number four is E, none of the options. IS-20 states that government grants can be variously referred to as subsidies, subventions or premiums. E is the answer to question number four. Question number five. The answer to question number five is D, that grant conditions attached will be met and that the grants will be received are fundamental. The two conditions stipulated in IS-20 for the completion of grants are one, the entity will comply with the conditions attaching to them, and two, the grants will be received. These are fundamental to grant supporting. D is the answer to question number five. Question number six. The answer to question number six is C, recognizing profit or loss in the period in which the grant becomes receivable. A government grant that becomes receivable as compensation for expenses or losses incurred is recognized in profit or loss of the period in which it becomes receivable. C is the answer to question number six. Question number seven. The answer to question number seven is B, profit or loss on a systematic basis over relevant periods. IAS 20 provides that government grants shall be recognized in profit or loss on a systematic basis over the periods in which the entity recognizes as expenses the related costs for which the grants are intended to compensate. B is the answer to question number seven. Question number eight. The answer to question number eight is E. None of the options is incorrect. All of the options of the answers are treatments within the two methods acceptable in the presentation of grants related to assets in the status of financial position. E is the answer to question number eight. Question number nine. The answer to question number nine is D. They can be capitalized as assets since they are benefits received. Grants related to income are not capitalized as assets in any form. They are either treated as income on one hand, whether as separately presented or grouped with other income, or presented net after deducting related expenses. Both methods of presentation do not permit grants related to income to be capitalized as assets. D is the answer to question number nine. Question number 10. The answer to question number 10 is C. It will be expensed in addition to any unamortized deferred credit. All of the options of answers except option C are correct treatment of repayment of government grants. 
why the answer in option A applies to both grants related to assets and grants related to income, option B and D apply only to grants related to income, and option E applies to grants related to assets only. The treatment in option C does not hold for any kind of grant. C is the answer to question number 10. That is all for this set. Thank you for joining us for the set one of IAS 20, Accounting for Government Grants and Disclosure of Government Assistance. We invite you to subscribe to our channel, share our links, and invite those in your network to do the same. This will enable you and all other subscribers get direct notifications on future video uploads. We intend to cover all of the standards in this framework and create further sets of questions and answers on standards already covered. For collaboration in this area, please call our WhatsApp plus 2349 0307 70109. All rights of this production and others in the series are reserved for OJ Inspiration Limited. Thank you once again and bye for now.